Okay, so we have uh, finished our mix here, and everything looks good the way we want it. We will play it a couple times to make sure it's on point. thing to do too is to listen to it on their monitors listen to it on your low monitors listen to it in your headphones kind of get an all-around try to get an all-around even mix that what you're looking for then once you do that play it a couple times this one took me probably about an hour to get decent it's not a perfect it's not a perfect mix but it is what you know we like you know so now we're just going maybe I had to do a couple tweaks right here. I used Roland V vocal to actually change the pitch of, you know, of, to fix what um, Auto Tune didn't fix. So I had to go in and fix it myself. Um, in the main vocal, I have Auto Tune, I have EQ, I have the Vintage VC64, Delay, and the leveler and perfect space and then all my main all my backing vocals have auto-tune and then they're coming here to this vocal send right there have compression uh, EQ chorus and uh, perfect space I got a couple effects on the music on the uh, audio tracks on the music uh, but the leads and the synthesizers sound good already alright so as I was mentioning before we're gonna um, uh, now we're going to create audio you know a two uh, stereo track of just the music and of uh, the main um, of the entire song first I'm gonna just do the music and I'm gonna put that on my site at mlivesoul.com so you can check that out so to do that we're just going to solo the music so we're gonna go right here to music we're gonna solo it and that way and then once we do that we're gonna go to uh, file, go down to export, go down to audio, um, and then you can do a wave or MP3. Make sure that it's 16-bit so that you can uh, burn it on a CD if you want. Um, and then just pick a pick a folder where you want to put it. Pick the name of the song. Um, this song is going to be called the YouTube Joint. right here instrumental and so now it's gonna bounce everything down um, to what we're looking for now again this is the final this is for what we're calling it it's the final mix whenever you have your full mix so we made the track we recorded the vocals we mixed the vocals and put effects where we wanted to put them now we're bouncing it down to two tracks and um, cool thing about this is that you don't cool thing about sonar is you don't have to play the song while you bounce it it just it's all silent it only takes about some depending on how many effects you have on there it doesn't take very long but it takes way under a minute for it to bounce maybe 30 20 to 30 seconds for it to bounce all right 
it and now it's done bouncing that now we're gonna unsolo it and we're gonna do the same thing export audio and then I'm just gonna replace my old YouTube joint with this one because this is the better one and we're gonna export and it says do I want to override it yes and voila and again this is going only gonna take um, about 40 45 seconds right here for this one to bounce all the way down and as you see on the bottom there on the bottom it is uh, mixing everything down to stereo audio stereo tracks which is real easy um, but as you can see with sonar you see this is where all the um, effects go and all the effects are in there and again you gotta have a I know I mentioned before, but you gotta have a real powerful computer. At least you gotta have a lot of RAM, and you gotta have it's gotta be fast. Gotta gotta be real fast, um, so that way the audio engine you don't you don't put a lot of drag on the audio engine. Your computer can handle it. <coughs> all right, so then all you gotta do is just play it. So you find the one that you played, and you click it. And there you go. So, all right, that's a joint. Now we're gonna play the uh, instrumental. No, and then that's it. So. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is these two are gonna go up. I'm gonna put the instrumental up. Also, I'm gonna put the uh, mixed down version of it, and then I'm gonna master it and and make it make it bang, make it really bang. So I'll show you how to do that in our next segment, uh, which is mastering. Alright, later. Peace. Hello everybody, and uh, it's your boy Masquerade again. Uh, be sure you check out my music when you get a chance at mlifesoul.com, M-L-I-F-E-S-O-U-L.com. That's what I'm doing my stuff. Um, we're at the end of the day. Um, we started from scratch, basically. Uh, we found an inspirational piece of, of inspirational, inspirational loop. We turned that loop into a, a, a track, music track with a beat and everything. Uh, we created a song, wrote the song, recorded the song, mixed it, put effects on it to make it sound like a whole song, and then we uh, brought that down to one, uh, to stereo track. Now we're going to master it. Um, now I don't necessarily use master. Uh, I I like to use T Rex, um, and there's also uh, mastering software from Sony, but just want you to know like you could do that in sonar if you wanted to you could master it so before I used to master and I when I was mastering sonar there's tutorials on it but here's a it, real quick easy way to to do it we're gonna go here uh, we're gonna go new. Uh, we're gonna do new YouTube master a new one and cool what's cool is that now I got a new track a blank slate like we did in the beginning um, then I'm gonna find my music that I want and then with, again all you gotta do is just drag it over so I'm gonna go to my music and I'm gonna find my YouTube joint and bam all I gotta do is drag it comes on there and it's dragged and that's it that's all you got to do with that now right here um, what we like to do is um, check the view what we want to do 